Mr. Speaker, first I wish to convey my appreciation and commend the work of the Chairman and members of the Standing Committee on Social Affairs in their deliberations of the annual report. Our gratitude, of course, extends to the management, the board, uh, and staff of the Fiji, Film Fiji for helping to see our film industry through the challenge of the pandemic. Mr. Speaker, the Film Fiji is the driving force in managing the incentives we've introduced to attract productions and the issues of the approvals and permits required to film in Fiji. Fiji is a historic film production destination that is on the cusp of uh, becoming a global force in television and movie making. The pandemic put a hold on production globally, but just like uh, with tourism, we'd be fools not to give it uh, the audiovisual industry our full support as a source of jobs for our people and exposure for the country. Mr. Speaker, thanks to this marketing strategy, uh, Film Fiji has helped us fully resume our film industry, which is now welcoming massive pent-up demand from overseas producers. I'm told a team just, uh, just wrapped up another se season of Survivor on Mana Island and wished well done to the crew. Fiji is the world's most beautiful backdrop, better than anything you can create on a green, green screen. But production needs more than good scenery. Mr. Speaker, they need capacity, and Fiji has that as well. The uh, improved network of telecommunications and infrastructure that my government has invested in, coupled with the enormous wealth of skills, talents, facilities, and services within uh, Fiji's film industry, makes us a world-class production destination. Mr. Speaker, our access to the production industry creates great jobs, especially for young people. We have to leverage that access and expose it to attract a new generation of filmmakers, Fijian filmmakers. That's why I was proud to see that uh, despite the pandemic, Mr. Speaker, this industry still involved our school children through the mobile movie competition. I was also proud to see a son of the Pacific, Taika Waititi, win an Academy Award, which I understand, Mr. Speaker, is the premier recognition in film for a screenplay he adapted. That's a wonderful inspiration for young Pacific people. I hope to see a Fijian with an Academy Award in my lifetime. Involving our children in the creative arts can make that possible, Mr. Speaker. That is why government is providing a platform for our children to learn and gain experience in this industry. And this government is the only government that has done anything like this. Yeah, yeah. And I reaffirm my commitment uh, that our commitment will all, uh, only strengthen for the sake of our children and for Fiji. Mr. Speaker, I now draw my attention to the two reports to be deliberated before Parliament. I note, Mr. Speaker, that the Standing Committee on Social Affairs, Social Affairs they acknowledge the committee's observation on the general satisfaction of the operation of Film Fiji and the issue on hand has been addressed by the Film Fiji. Based on those remarks, Mr. Speaker, I do support the motion. Thank you.